Um, well, it's not not strange actually, because in Holland there's uh, quite a large techno scene and um, trends in in the underground's opinion is more commercial, commercial style of music. And I've never I been into that kind of music actually. So I've always started, I, I already started playing house and techno t 12 years ago and uh, I don't think it's strange. Why should it be strange? <laughs> Armin van Buren, yeah, that's the, one, the most famous one and, and Tiesto of course. But those are really DJs who are more like an expert product for the Holland. But underneath there, there's a large uh, techno and house scene. Yeah. Mm, I think um, Laurent Garnier is really like a big influence. Uh, his DJ sets I've always liked uh, a lot because he does a combination between uh, house, uh, drum and bass, techno. He always plays the best from every, every style. And I like to do that as well. So I really like his, uh, his DJing. Well, that's the music I prefer to make, you know, music that comes uh, from my heart, that expresses my feelings, and uh, this is what I, what I meant. You read it in my bio, probably. Well, there will be a remix coming out on uh, Connoisseur, the label where I, pr where I release uh, regularly. Um, it's a project uh, of five years the anniversary of Connoisseur, and all the artists uh, remixed each other, and it will be released in March. And I just gave you uh, my new release on Evo Next. It will be coming out uh, next month. So, um, and I'm work working really hard on new stuff. Uh, yeah, that one. Uh, no, this is the one that is for the party tonight. This is the release party. This is your Romanian label. <laughs> and this will be my next release in March on my own label, Evo Next. I am really happy if there are two good monitors when I play. Kos. Kos. Kos and Designer Remix Collection, and I like Adidas and uh, Michael Kors. No, no, too mainstream. <laughs> well, actually, Nike and Adidas are mainstream as well, but I like their style more. I think so, because he was a puppy when, he, uh, when I already DJed, so he grew up with all the music around him. <laughs> but sometimes when I'm producing in the studio and it's getting really loud, and he wakes up and he looks at me, and then he just moves away from the from the speakers. <laughs> he's, on my, he's on my coat, did you see him? This is Billy. <laughs> yeah, yeah I do, but what's there to say about groupies? <laughs> no, it's nice, but what, yeah, you know, groupies, are groupies the people who, who uh, leave uh, nice messages on my Facebook, for example? And I think that's sweet, actually, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's not all time, it's maybe my favorite tracks from the moment and um, it's not really the titles but there are some artists that I really like now like Tefo Howard I, I really like and Matrix and um, well Yours Foreign is also a nice one from Holland that, that I play a lot. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> well you never know, maybe, maybe. It's really nice to play uh, alongside the two other girls. Uh. Um, it's nice because you get inspiration from each other and normally you have the, this kind of flow that you know in your head already that you want to do, want to do when you're DJing. And now you get more, um, you get more a challenge, you know? So you never know what the person before you will do and you have to anticipate on it and uh, it's nice to do it that way. Yeah.